Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and you've seen several of the videos with uh, building and setting up our peacock pheasant enclosure that we did last summer. And uh, I've talked a little bit about some of the ways that we are securing it for, uh, for predators. We've got, uh, got ready to start putting up uh, electric fence around halfway up. I've got these uh, spikes on the top. So basically a raccoon can't climb up and get on the top to get in. Got a heavy net on the top. We have uh, creek rock all around. I need to get some more in. And we put a couple layers of that and then put some concrete and then more on top. Kind of make it difficult for them to get in. And one of the other, we've got, uh, well, we've got different lights. These things that kind of look like an owl there have like a red blinking light that looks like a predator. Uh, we've got some solar motion lights. And I ran across something the other day, and we're getting ready to put a couple of them in if the ground's not too hard. But that is, if you can see these, I found these on Amazon. These are uh, no dig to keep basically your dog from digging under a fence or you can make a little fence to keep like a small animal in. But I'm thinking some pretty heavy metal. It's supposed to be uh, rust proof. I'm gonna hammer them down so if something does get through the gravel and the concrete, it's just gonna give them another barrier to keep from getting in. And I got enough to do the house right now, so I'm gonna put a few of these in and uh, let's see how they go. So the house that I got set up for them is uh, basically they mostly stay out on these perches. These are uh, just from limbs that have fallen down around the farm. I brought up, try to give them some natural places to perch. Uh, I've got a small eight by eight interior, uh, like house for them to go in to get out of the weather or when they're nesting. I put uh, some, clear panels on it because that's how the sun comes up it warms it it stays pretty warm in there uh, even when it's been cold and the idea uh, I was trying to figure out how to kind of do the edge here and I've kind of kind of got it uh, a little bit not good just enough to hold it for now I think I'm gonna come out all the way to here and give a little bit of a uh, just kind of an open lean to here to give them a little more protection just if it's raining. But when you go in the house, and we've had some pretty nasty weather, so I've had them a heated bucket in here for water, but this was kind of my setup. I got a little nesting box for them there. I got a little platform that uh, once it kind of comes that time, I'm gonna set up some nesting areas for them in here. Uh, I've got some perches for the guineas and the couple of chickens that are out here like on these and uh, this was actually pretty nice I picked this up on Amazon I'll put a link at the bottom uh, in the descriptions on these I'm getting ready to put a couple more around but uh, uh, some big feeders some big waters I'm getting ready to change them out and was actually going to do a video on these because they're a pain to fill and I found a pretty easy way to do it and of course where I keep their feed, but we get in here, the, uh, uh, these went in pretty easy. I just had a little hammer. Ground is uh, soft. I was afraid it might be frozen, but just kind of tapped them on both sides and they went in pretty easy. They go down about 18 inches. Now you've got some pretty hard wire right here. So if something tries to uh, come through, they're gonna hit that and hopefully That'll keep them from digging if they get that far. You're not going to be able to stop predators, but if you make it inconvenient for them, you know, at least uh, they got to work for it. And hopefully maybe they'll either give up or you can uh, catch them in the act. So I'm going to get the rest of these in and uh, I'll leave a link for these in the description as well. But uh, hopefully if you're trying to secure a chicken house, an aviary, peacock habitat, guineas, ducks, geese, whatever you got. Uh, you know, hopefully this does help you out. Gives you some ideas. We've had a terrible problem with raccoons and foxes over the years. And uh, so I'm just basically trying to make this to uh, 
alleviate the problem. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you enjoy the videos, if you get some ideas, get inspired, uh, please consider subscribing. Subscribing to the channel, it helps us out. Uh, I mean, I'm appreciative of everybody that has subscribed and uh, any more, uh, you know, please, it, it helps us out. I don't do this for the money. I actually don't even make money yet on this, nor, you know, is that my goal? I don't do it for the fame. I just enjoy doing it. And uh, I get a lot of my ideas, a lot of the inspiration from projects I do came from other YouTubers that I've watched the videos on. And uh, I'm just trying to help some other people out. Plus, you know, I can look at it down the road and uh, see where I was at and see how far I've come. So, you know, please just consider subscribing. Watching the videos all the way to the end that actually uh, YouTube uses an algorithm on where to put videos, on how to suggest them. And uh, the more they're watched, the more watch hours, and the more they're watched to the end actually uh, uh, promotes the videos and brings them to other people. And all that's appreciated. If uh, you don't mind, you know, please. Till next time, it's Matt with McGee Farms. Have a great day.